are exceptional memory and ability to recall minor details, song lyrics, and most importantly, stupid things her boyfriend has said. However, she can't ever promise that she will memorize her entire speech. Being evaluated by David Schiff, Kathleen Posey, Memories Make Us. Friday night, I was driving through my old neighborhood, and all of a sudden I was hit with this wave of emotions, happiness, sadness, and it kind of came out of nowhere. I felt like I was in a past life, and I was sort of the intruder. This is where I grew up and spent my entire life, but I don't live there anymore, and as much as my heart is tied to that place, part of me feels like I don't fit. And as much as this... <clears throat> Emotion was kind of bittersweet. I couldn't get enough of it, and I kind of got caught up in it. I started um, joyriding around. I drove past the high school and drove past all the ways my sister and I would walk to school when we were little. Um, I might have driven past my high school sweetheart's house just because. Um, and when I finally pulled into where I was going, I couldn't shake this feeling. And as much as it was sad, it was sort of a good reminder of the past and what shaped my life. The definition of nostalgia is a sentimental longing or wistful affection for the past, typically a period or place of happiness and personal association. So today I'm going to talk to you a little about, about nostalgia and sort of the history behind it and how we understand it today, um, its reach across the world and how it affects virtually everyone, and then some of the triggers that you guys will probably um, connect to in your daily life. So nostalgia was originally thought of as a neurological disorder. Um, the 17th century Swiss physician, um, Johannes Hoffer, coined the term nostalgia, and he kind of came up with this term after observing soldiers at war really yearning to go home. And he thought that their weakened mental state and their weakened physical state was because they couldn't get past wanting to be home. So it's not really surprising to me that at first nostalgia had kind of a negative connotation. As I was saying in my opening, um, it's initially happy because you're thinking of this past time and you're really wanting to be back in this memory. But then after you kind of think about it, you're yanked into the future and you realize you can't ever go back and it is the past and you can't ever relive something that's already happened. But as time has gone on, psychologists have come to understand it as a very normal and happy kind of thing. It's actually good for us to kind of look back on the past, even if it is a hard time, because it helps propel you through tough times you have today. Um, nostalgia is universal. People as young as seven um, report feeling nostalgic when talking about summer vacations or recess, and people older than that report up to feeling nostalgic up to four times a week, which is really common. So it's not always kind of like this big stop in your tracks moment, but it could just be a small thing, a small moment in your day where you're kind of brought back to a past memory. My first experience with nostalgia was when I was very young, leaving my parent, my grandparents' house on Sundays. I had this pit in my stomach. I just wanted so badly to rewind to Friday night pulling into their driveway with a whole weekend with my entire family, and I was kind of heartbroken that you couldn't do that. You can't go back and relive your perfect weekend but you have to wait until the next time. So what are the triggers exactly? I kind of touched on location, but the most common trigger is actually music. And I'm sure some of you guys can think of a song that's associated to a specific time, like maybe your wedding song or a song that was playing when you were out and you had the best night of your life with your friends. Or maybe you can't even really think of it, it's when you hear the song, you start getting brought back to this time and have all these emotions and feelings, and then you sort of reversely build up the memory. For me, it's always been smell, and this is kind of where the water gets muddy because nostalgia isn't just remembering something, it's the full emotional and physical state that comes along with it. But a couple months ago, I was home, and I just picked up my mom's perfume and took a smell of it, and I was brought back to being a young child sitting on her bed watching her do her makeup and knowing that a babysitter was coming. Um, a babysitter for me and my sisters to torture, but that's something for another speech. Um, 
And I just couldn't believe it. Like I, I forgot that she even she never wears that perfume. So I forgot that this perfume was even that important to me until I smelled it. And then I was kind of brought back into that moment and it was amazing. So as much as it can be kind of a negative thing when you're reflecting on nostalgia, it really is a good thing because if you're sitting on Monday morning at your desk and you just would give anything to relive your perfect weekend again, as much as you feel sad that you can't, it helps you to appreciate the time that you have and to make the most out of all of the moments. So originally it was thought of as a disorder and today we understand it as a very normal, healthy psychological phenomenon. Um, nostalgia reaches everyone. Virtually everyone has been affected by this at some point in their life. And there are everyday triggers like smell, music, location. I'm sure even watching a movie could probably bring some of us back to a specific time. As some of you may know, I love the show Mad Men. And there's this episode where Don Draper is trying to sell the Kodiak carousel. Um, and it's kind of a projector for pictures, a really um, old one from the 60s. And he's using his nostalgia to kind of tap into that buyer to sell it. And he says, Nostalgia. It's delicate, but Pope Teddy told me that in Greek, nostalgia literally means the pain from an old moon. It's a twinge in your heart far more powerful than memory alone. And I felt like for me, this is the perfect definition, that twinge, that physical feeling where you just want to go back so bad. Um, so next time you feel nostalgia, I encourage you to not push it away, but to fully immerse yourself and allow yourself to feel all of those emotions because after all, it is our memory. 